Hey Gemini, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot here to do your May 2019 Twin Flame Tarot reading. Thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, your personal readings, your emails, your feedback has been amazing. I love that you guys love my channel and I love you guys just as much. So thank you so, so, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, super sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, allergies are bad today. So, oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. Uh, where was I? Oh, so thank you for all of your support. Um, just keep in mind, guys, it is a general reading. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. If uh, you, you know, love what you see and you would like a personal reading, uh, the link is in the description box below. It will um, The link will take you to Facebook when you post it in, paste it into your browser. If you do not have Facebook, you can email me at twistedtarot at gmail.com and I can give you my rates and my information there. You can also follow me on Facebook when you do click the link if you would like. Um, and there's information about me and, uh, excuse me, about the rates and things like that. Um, there are two ways to get messages on my channel if you're not receiving messages for your sun sign. Uh, one of the two ways is to, super easy, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, for my videos because I take all that energy in and pull it in from uh, the divine when I do your readings. So uh, that does help. Second one, second way to get messages is to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Sometimes those will resonate better. So if you're not sure how to do that, there is a link below in the description box that is for Cafe Astrology. And when you uh, put that in, it will uh, take you there and it will say free uh, birth chart or free natal chart. And underneath that, you can, uh, you can, you can enter in your information for your uh, date, uh, date of birth and things like that. And it will give you a list of your planets and uh, where they, what astrological sign they fall into. So check your moon, your rising and your Venus sign. Sometimes they will resonate better. And that's the way to do that. But else, excuse me. Oh, goodness, I'm so sorry. Whew. Just awful. Um, sometimes the roles can reverse, so take it that way. It can completely flip. Some of the pieces can be strewn within the reading uh, just all over, just kind of little bits here and there. So that may happen. So I highly recommend watching both videos if you can. What else? I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, this is, this is awful. I hope I got all my, all my announcements out here. I think I did. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. All right, so I'm going to chime my chime and we'll get into your energy here on this side for your twin and see what's going on with them. If you're wearing headphones, you can turn it down, turn it up, however you want um, as far as hearing the chime. I don't know what it sounds like, so I can't say whether it's like super loud or not or anything like that, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so I will chime it in and we'll let Spirit know that we're ready and that we're ready to receive whatever, whatever messages, we're open to whatever messages they want to give us. So... Excuse me. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to go blow my nose, people. So I'm going to stop the video. Sorry, I'll be right back. Hey, Gemini. This is Alicia with Twisted Tarot here to do your May 2019 Twin Flame Tarot reading. Thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, your personal readings, your emails, your feedback has been amazing. I love that you guys love my channel and I love you guys just as much. So thank you so, so, ooh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, super sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, allergies are bad today. So, oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. Uh, where was I? Oh, so thank you for all of <laughs> your support. Um, just keep in mind guys, it is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If, uh, you, you know, love what you see and you would like a personal reading, uh, the link is in the description box below. It will, um, the link will take you to Facebook when you post it in, paste it into your browser. If you do not have Facebook, you can email me at twistedtarot at gmail.com and I can give you my rates and my information there. You can also follow me on Facebook when you do click the link if you would like. Um, and there's information about me and, uh, excuse me, about the rates and things like that. Um, there are two ways to get messages on my channel if you're not receiving messages for your sun sign. 
Uh, one of the two ways is to super easy, like, share, subscribe, and comment uh, for my videos because I take all that energy in and pull it in from uh, the divine when I do your readings. So uh, that does help. Second one, second way to get messages is to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Sometimes those will resonate better. So if you're not sure how to do that, there is a link below in the description box that is for Cafe Astrology. And when you uh, put that in, it will uh, take you there and it will say free uh, birth chart or free natal chart. And underneath that, you can... Uh, you can, you can enter in your information for your uh, date, uh, date of birth and things like that. And it will give you a list of your planets and uh, where they, what astrological sign they fall into. So check your moon, your rising and your Venus sign. Sometimes they will resonate better. And that's the way to do that. What else? Excuse me. Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. Whew. Just awful. Um, sometimes the roles can reverse, so take it that way. It can completely flip. Some of the pieces can be strewn within the reading uh, just all over, just kind of little bits here and there. So that may happen. So I highly recommend watching both videos if you can. What else? I'm sorry. Ooh, gosh, this is this is awful. I hope I got all my all my announcements out here. I think I did. Um yeah, I think we're good. All right, so I'm going to chime my chime, and we'll get into your energy here on this side for your twin and see what's going on with them. If you're wearing headphones, you can turn it down, turn it up, however you want um, as far as hearing the chime. I don't know what it sounds like, so I can't say whether it's like super loud or not or anything like that, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so I will chime it in, and we'll let Spirit know that we're ready and that we're ready to receive whatever, whatever messages. We're open to whatever messages they want to give us, so... Excuse me. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to go blow my nose, people. So I'm going to stop the video. Sorry. I'll be right back. All right. I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So if you saw the first video, you know that you could be dealing with signs of your twin you could be dealing with. We have Cancer. We have another Gemini. And we have Pisces. We also had, uh, oh, we had fire here with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, we had double Sag. Uh, we also had, uh, yeah, lots of Aries, lots of fire. And um, Scorpio was also here as well. Sorry, guys, I'm not my dog in. All right, so mutual energy between you and your twin is the Nine of Cups. Very beautiful, coming right out of the gate with this wish card. So this is wishes fulfilled. This is also yearning and longing for your twin, I feel like. And also, you know, if you're if you're together with your twin and not in separation, this is another message as well. It's You're being almost totally emotionally fulfilled with them. You have Nine Cups. You're only missing that one. It looks like there's... Maybe some kind of uncertainty here behind the curtain. Is that next cup going to be behind there? Can we make it there? Um, and, you know, being emotionally fulfilled uh, for some of, for a lot of you and your emotions kind of controlling the situation as well. And I feel like you are wishing for this person. You are, you're wanting this wish to be fulfilled. And they're saying, you know, it's, it's there. It's almost there. You have one more cup behind this curtain possibly to get to. So can you get there? Like, are you able to go through all the things you need to do to get to the, to get to that 10, okay? So it's so beautiful. I am in love with this card. I love it a lot. So I'm glad this is your energy, guys. It's so positive. And it was clarified by the King of Cups and the Eight Upright and the Eight of Wands reversed. So it's either you or your twin or both of you. There's love here with that King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And we have both Cancer and Pisces here. So um, I feel like for some of you, you ha there's love. There's this King of Cups who's very uh, compassionate, very loving, very sensitive. Um, not overly emotional because this King actually is very emotionally mature with, with his or her emotions. And, you know, with Kings, we are talking about male or female energy. Uh, kings can have, this King of Cups can have more of a female, more receptive energy here. 
they want to offer such a be big, beautiful cup of love to you. You or, you or your twin or both of you maybe want to do this. And But somebody's not speaking up. This is like, not, this is a lack of communication. This is either communication is completely stagnant uh, where nobody's speaking to the other person, but there's still like an underlying sense of love here. There's love in this connection. Of course there is with this nine of cups. You know, there's a lot of emotions for this person. You feel very deeply for them and they feel very deeply for you um, here in this, in this card, in these cards. But somebody's not speaking up. Somebody's not communicating and that may be the problem here. Okay, that's probably why that 10, 10 of cups isn't coming full. That's why probably it's the nine and not the 10. All right, but we'll keep going and see uh, what cards we have for your side. What what's what is your story, guys? First card is connection. Yeah, this reminds me every time I see this card of a water sign. So again, we have a lot of water over here. Um, so I feel like this is a deep connection. Okay, this is you connecting with others, connecting with yourself, connecting with your twin. Okay, very beautiful. Maybe drawn to the water, so you may like to swim. You may like to go to the beach. Um, I feel like collecting seashells uh and like memorabilia of some sort this is a new deck i'm using uh for the readings this month it's it called the sacred earth oracle i'm also using amir's love oracle as well all right so let's see what they have to say about connection i really love this card find yourself by losing yourself in a conversation a story or someone's eyes be vulnerable be emotional and be moved to deeper to deeper understanding empathy is required let the pain, suffering, love, and joy of others find a home in your heart. Yeah, that's a king of cups energy. That That's definitely a water sign energy as well. Accepting another without reservation means accepting yourself as well. Yes, because you are a, you are a twin flame. So that is the, that's like the mantra is accepting yourself, then you accept your twin, etc. It's like when you work on yourself, you're also working on your twin and vice versa. Uh, but that's also for anyone in your sphere. So it says... If you accept others without reservation, you will also accept those parts of yourself and be, you know, less judgmental towards others, which water signs not normally known for that because they're very receptive. They're very understanding a lot of times. Not all, not all, but there are, you know, there are a small majority or, or a large majority, I think, in, in, in um, I think it's larger than a small majority, but, you know, you never know. That's very beautiful here. I really like that. Okay, so and be vulnerable to be emotional and be moved to deeper understanding. So, you know, that this connection between you and your twin, it, it's emotional. It, it has a lot of deep emotions for you. And that's exactly what I feel, felt for that nine of cups. Okay, and be willing to be vulnerable with this person. Okay, and open up. And we have past love. Okay, so they may have been a past love or you are currently dealing with a past love. Um, let's see what they have to say. I've never pulled this card, actually, so let's see what uh, what's going on there with that past love. Let's see what they have to say about that. Someone you have loved or dated before, someone from your past, a big love from your past, can be that this love from your past is blocking you from moving forward, or you need to revisit this person to see if it is over or can be resumed before you move on. One door closes and another opens. A love of your life has reappeared in your life today or is going to reappear. Quite often the timing is not right for two people to come together and the love we lost before will try to reconnect in the future. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of, there's a, a lot going on here. So please take what resonates. Okay, for some of you on this side, your twin it's not over with a past love. So that person may reappear in their lives and make an appearance and may kind of shake this up, okay? So I do, I did feel that here with the Queen of Wands here, that she was still in love with somebody from her past, possibly. It could be that Sagittarius. So, um, or he, again. And that person wasn't a karmic partner, okay? So it could have been a soulmate, um, whatever whatever that it means, it means to them. It doesn't matter the title as well. It was just a past love. It could be you are a past love as well as, as your twin. Um, you both are past loves. So you may, or or you may have, what, is it, what did it say? Or you're someone from each other's past, okay? Especially when we're talking about twins, you have a past life together. So you're obviously going to be past loves, okay? So um, it could be that uh, your twin needs to, uh, still has a connection with a past love, and that is keeping them from moving forward with you. So keep that in mind. 
please take what resonates. You may be the past love, so this may totally resonate for both of you. So, you know, however that works, okay? Um, and quite often, maybe the timing was wrong, um, and maybe now it's starting to come back around because there's maybe some karma. There's maybe some karmic ties there, okay? We have the dark night of the soul. Ooh, okay. So your twin is going possibly through the dark night of the soul or will um, or maybe coming out of this. So there's a few of you that are going in, a few of you that are in, a few of you, a few of you that are going out. Okay. So, you know, again, wherever it resonates for you within this, within this card. So this is dark night of the soul. So really going with the, whatever's happened, maybe this past love comes back and it puts them into a dark night of the soul. Maybe this is a person that they thought the door was closed. Everything was done and it doesn't, you know, and, and it needed to be ended. But that person coming back around throws them right back into a very dark place. And it could be because they they have to look at parts of themselves in order to figure out what they want. So either you are the past love and you come back and then it kind of shakes things up and then they're like, holy crap, okay, I don't think I can deal with this. Like this is, again, you're doing, you're reflecting this as well. You and your twin are both mirroring each other. Okay, so maybe you're coming out of that shadow work or need to do that shadow work. Um, and your twin, because your twin's doing it, okay? So they're in a dark night of the soul or they're starting to, in, to come into this or they will because I feel like this past love, I feel like this is energy that's coming. I feel like it's almost there, okay? It's coming in fast, okay? So for some of you, if it's another person that they used to love that they were connected with, that may come back. And this may be starting, this, then this will start this dark night of the soul. So it's quite, it hasn't quite happened for some of you. Others of you, you may be kind of coming out of this, This your twin may be coming out of this dark night of the soul. Well, let's keep going. And we have the 10 of wands reversed. Yeah, they don't, they want to put down this burden. They don't want to be in this dark night of the soul. They are probably tired of going through the dark night of the soul because it's a continuous cycle that, it goes in, you go in over and over and over again within a twin flame journey um, at many different points and different times. Okay. This person is like, I don't want this anymore. I want to put down this burden and I don't want to be put into this position anymore because it, it weighs them down absolutely to the point where they're like, I, I cannot hold on to this anymore. I'm, I'm so hurt as well. I feel like they're hurt. So there's past hurt with you as their twin, if you're this past love or if it's a past love that's returned, it brings up a lot of a lot of memories that they may have thought that they were over, thought that had been laid to rest, okay? But this Ten of Wands is like, is nope, nope, not not done yet, not done yet. But it, it's also like needing to put put this burden down, needing to work through it in order to put this burden down, okay? All right. Good grief. Okay. Next card. Uh, it's hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yeah, they're going to need help to get out of this. Okay, they're going to need some real help to get out of this, uh, to get through this dark night of the soul. Uh, maybe they feel like you, they want you to help them with this because they desperately maybe need you to help them get through it. Uh, and you may be going through your own, so that may be really hard for you. Uh, or you feel like you can't reach out because there's this no communication here with this eight of wands. So uh, that could be, you know, and with this ten of wands reversed, just overwhelming responsibilities that, you know, they want to put it down. They just literally want to put it all down. Okay. But they need help and assistance to do so. Okay. This really may have knocked them off their feet. Twin flame message. Being apart has been life changing for me. Yeah. So some of you are in separation or have been in separation and they want to tell you that it's been life changing for them. Next card is alchemy. This is being able to create whatever they want, okay? This is being able to be the master. This is like the magician. I see this as like the magician card in a traditional tarot deck, even though it is an oracle deck. All right, so let's see what they have to say about alchemy. It is up to you to acknowledge an obstacle as impermanent. Regardless of who is to blame, it is your responsibility to defy a false limitation. A quirk or idiosyncrasy is a strength. Bring it out and own it. Individuality is a precious gem. Throw your woes into the smelting pot and craft them into powerful tools. Experiment with what you have and give it value. Okay, so what I feel like is happening here is this past love or this connection or this dark night of the soul, all of those things and this these burdens that they were feeling or needing to get rid of are 
they need to see them as not being permanent, that they're not always going to be there, okay? And it's regardless of who is to blame for it, um, it is your twin's responsibility to defy that limitation in order to say, okay, this doesn't, this doesn't define me or this isn't something that I can't get through, okay? So they may feel, again, with this in need of help, they may need somebody to help them um, and they want somebody to, to extend their hand to them and help them get through this. So they may not be good at asking for help and that could be why, you know, with this. They may see they really need help with this, okay, with the Ten of Wands reversed. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, they may be quirky or it is idiosyncratic, but it is a strength. And so they're being asked to bring it out and own it and be happy to be different, okay? So that's beautiful. And that's that's a Piscean energy if I ever saw one or any of y'all, Geminis, Cancer, all y'all, you know, that are here. You know, I feel like that's definitely something that, you know, most of us that are, you know, those signs kind of, you know, we don't have a hard time bringing it out, but some of us do. So, and embracing the crazy and the cool in us, you know, that's, you know, it says individuality is a precious, precious gem, precious gem. Good God, I can't talk. Throw your woes into the smelting pot and craft them into powerful tools. Yeah, this alchemy is like, take everything that you have, all the swords, which are your thoughts, all the wands, which are your communication, which is your passion. Uh, which is putting things in motion because uh, it's fire energy. All these cups, this um, these emotions, and all this physical, um, the pentacles. Put it all together and make it into something creative and beautiful. So you can create your own life. You have the ability to do, to do so and the way that you see things. And you can get past this obstacle. So if it looks impermanent, maybe take that rock, throw it in, you know, uh, see if you can, or break it up into smaller pieces, you know, and that way you can get through it. Maybe by breaking it up into smaller pieces, you can see the way that it works and the way that you can get past this obstacle. Okay. Uh, so it's beautiful. I love that. Next card is mature man. Okay. So this past love, uh, may have been, uh, somebody who is a mature person, a mature man, or they may have matured. All right. So it's interesting here. So let's see what this mature man has to, has to say here. Who is this? I think it talks about just age and also the way he looks, uh, as well. Kind of talks about his features. I can't remember what they say about him. Well, there's the mature woman. Slow, youthful. King. Experienced life experience, a man who is mature minded despite his age, responsible man, bald, shaved hair, or grayish hair. So, this person may have shaved hair, but be bald uh, or grayish hair, um, and they're mature minded. So, it's possibly this past love. Okay, if this is not you on this side, it's very possible that's the past love that um, is is entering uh, your twin's life. And this person is a soulmate here, all right? Soulmate is underneath that, like I said here, so um, not, a, not a karmic, a soulmate, okay? And, ooh, okay, what's next? And we have temperance. This person is a sad, possibly a Sagittarius. I said that on this side, so it's double confirmation for me that this person either has Sagittarius in their chart heavily or they are a Sagittarius sun. So this person is a soulmate. This person is trying to come possibly back into your twin's life, okay? And um, what's happening is if they can release this burden and figure out what they what they want maybe and get through this dark night of the soul, they're going to be emotionally balanced. Or this person, this mature man is now matured and is emotionally balanced and is able to kind of offer them something uh, very substantial, very stable, okay? If this is not you, Gemini, then this is someone else. All right, and we have Quill, get back get back to the basics. Okay, so they maybe want you to get back to the basics with this person. Maybe you have to, on the side, your twin has to get back to the basics, which is healing, which is uh, balancing everything out emotionally, which is being, um, which is maybe relearning this person all over again and maybe cultivating that friendship again or that love again, and maybe going back to being friends and trying to see where it goes. Twin flame message, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Okay. So for a lot of you, your twin is saying like if, if they had known something, um, possibly when you guys were together or when you met, um, 
they may have made different choices here. So uh, if I knew now what I know then basically is that type of energy is what I'm feeling there for that card, that song that I don't remember who it's by or what, but it, I remember it just kind of ding into my head. All right. And we have the discernment. Okay. So discerning something about um, what to do. Uh, she kind of is lost in daydreams, lost in her thoughts, possibly. It could be a man, too. I'm sorry. This, there's a woman here, so that's why I'm saying that. But it could be you. It could be lost in your thoughts. Uh, daydreaming as well. That's very normal for a water sign. So if you're a water sign, that would probably make a lot of sense, too. There's some discernment that is needed. All right. It says... The books, films, and people you choose to spend time with subtly feed your beliefs about how the world works. Choosing good food means your body can absorb all the nutrients it needs for optimal health. The same applies for the information and attitudes you surround yourself with. Be selective about the movies, books, and conversations you have. Give yourself the opportunity to absorb higher thinking, greater visions, and deeper love. Okay, so yeah. Your twin is being advised if they haven't already to kind of discern what they put in their body, what they um, what they watch, uh, the people they surround themselves with, all of that. So it is as below, uh, so above as below, um, really trying to connect with their higher self and making sure that they can be open for this deeper love. So maybe because of this, this deep love that they're feeling for someone else, it could be for you. I mean, obviously... You know, there's someone else here, and I know that probably triggers a lot of you, and that kind of sucks, and I'm sorry, but, you know, this may be not be for everybody, again, so if it doesn't fit your situation, please don't, please don't try and make it fit, and, you know, I'm, I'm very sorry, you know, I don't control the situation that comes out, but your twin is uh, maybe possibly still hung up on someone else, this soulmate, okay, and, or they're hung up on them, and they're coming back, okay, so, but that discernment is basically kind of, trying to help them absorb the best that they can. And I think it's also discerning what they want from this person, what they want to do about this, whether they want to go in that direction, okay? Because not all of them are, are going to be like, okay, let's start up again, okay? Maybe some of them will be like, nah, I don't really think so, you know? A dark night of the soul, they may put this person down and possibly not, um, not cultivate that relationship for some of them. All right, we have new love. Okay. So... We have a past love and we have a new love. Okay, so this could be two, there could be lots of people trying to get your twin's attention. Um, and one of them, again, could be this mature man. So this could be the past love or the new love. Okay, or it may be that this past person comes back. They were a past love, but they also recultivated new love with your twin, okay? Um, or your twin is like, in like multiple people are involved. Maybe people are coming out of the woodworks and you know, trying to date them, okay? And there could be new love on the horizon as well and a past love, okay? And the new love, you know, is 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 here. Let's see what they have to say about that, okay? And um, the guide is reversed. So I'm feeling like they need to discern whether they they want to go towards a new a new path, a new love, if they want to go to the back to the past, okay? Especially if that past love is, is a, a twin flame, okay? So it's very possible that this mature man could be the tw your, your the you as the as the twin Gemini, and that mature man may be that new love. Okay, so keep that in mind. It, it, that person can go either way. So kind of see what, how it feels for you. But they may not be listening. That either their guides are telling them to go towards that, or they feel like maybe they're not being guided towards that new love. Like maybe stop, discern whether you want to go down this path or not. Okay, so I feel like there's there's multiple paths here for love here. Okay. All right, we have the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so this is somebody actually kind of recovering from some past betrayal here. So this Sagittarius um, here, or this this Temperance card that re represents Sagittarius, may have actually been um, in the past. There may have been a cheating betrayal. There may have been some sneaky shit that's gone on. Um, or somebody feels like maybe that new love that you're sneaking around with this new love. Okay, so they may be kind of worried that they're going to lose you to this new love okay so and that could be you gemini that feels that way like you feel like you somebody may be trying to take something that's yours okay it doesn't belong to them i feel like is what is what you feel okay um you may feel like your twin belongs to you and 
you know, why is this other person involved, you know, and, and what the hell. So I kind of feel like that energy here, but I also feel like, um, in the past, this person may have done some damage to this person as well. Uh, and they're trying to figure out how, who to be guided towards is what I feel like. Cause there's definitely this two type of, there's two paths here, maybe even three. Okay. So there may be a past love, um, a new love, uh, you know, there's, there's all this stuff going on here. Wow. Very interesting. And we have dolphin. Okay. So it says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Okay. So something you may have done in the past, maybe you, uh, for some of you, maybe you had an opportunity to maybe, uh, sneakily do something or, or, or take something that wasn't yours and you didn't. So you're maybe being rewarded for that, okay? Or you return something to someone, like they lost a cell phone or they lost an item and you thought about maybe like taking it, like, you know, you all of us do, you know, we're kind of look at it and like, oh, well, that, oh that's kind of cool. But then again, if you lost that, would you want somebody to take that from you? So, you know, it was kind of that energy and it could have been totally unrelated to that. It could be financial gain of something that you did in the past, um, something that you gave to someone in the past that they've returned to you. Um, some type of karmic debt as far as uh, finances are concerned. So that's beautiful. All right. Twin flame message. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Okay. So yeah, um, your you, your twin feels like maybe they can't meet your expectations, Gemini. Um, they also know that if they had if they knew now what they know or if they knew what they know now, they may have made different choices in the past. Okay. So it's possible that they're regretting some type of decision that they made. Uh, but you know, I think they feel like there's this choice to be made between two different people, you and a soulmate here. Um, and it could be because, and they may hesitate to choose you because they're not sure if they can meet your expectations. Okay. So it's very, very interesting. Okay. Okay, and that could be mirrored energy. You could feel the exact same way, Gemini. So keep that in mind. Okay, uh, let's do some clarifying here. We'll do the Ten of Wands reverse and see why the Ten of Wands is reversed. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, the Chariot. So Cancer energy here. So they may want to put down this burden with this with this Cancer if if it you know again. They, if they're, they may be, sorry, they may be moving on, um, this cancer on this side. If, if this is your twin, uh, others of you, it's just an energy here that they just want to put this down and they want to move on. But this horse is all about uh, opposites. This horse is, there's one white horse and one black horse in the traditional tarot. And here it's actually, they're both white. But if you look at them both, this person is like standing up and looking kind of in one direction, but are the horses looking in the, in that direction? No, the horses are looking almost like this way. They're like, you know, two opposite directions to figure out where to go. So yeah, again, I feel like there's a crossroads here. I feel like there's definitely, and we see um, Cancerian energy in here too, um, right here with that crab. Okay. Really heavy, really beautiful card for Cancer. So yeah, I'm feeling like that uh, they may be trying to, again, get out of this dark night of the soul, to move on from that, to move on, to put these burdens of the past or put that burden down. Okay, they're trying to move away from it. So it's possible, you know, that um, this mature man is a soulmate and is a new love, possibly for some of them. There's And then there's also that past love that they may want to put down that had been possibly with you. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Why is temperance here? Oh, that almost flipped. I'm not going to take it. It's too many cards. Okay. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? And I feel like if they're going towards a new love, there's something about the past that has to be resolved in order to be guided towards towards that. And they're maybe not being guided towards a new that new love. They may be guided towards you if you're that past love or guided towards that past love, to, again, to kind of 
wrap things up before they can go in a new direction, possibly. Okay, why is Temperance here? Eight of Swords reversed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Temperance is clarified by the Eight of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords, I'm feeling like reversed, is telling me that they are no longer, this person is no longer uh, either your twin or the person that they're dealing with this uh, past love or new love can't say because it falls between them this soulmate I'll just say because the soulmate falls above it this person's got their shit together they're coming back and they have everything balanced it is everything this person has wished for though because that eight of swords has made stress them out so badly in the past or this person this soulmate here this mature man is now mature and they no longer they've they've conquered their fears they've conquered their thoughts they've conquered their anxiety and their stress and they put it down they put it down okay and your twin may have put that down as well and it is finding ways to become balanced okay and this soulmate may make them feel emotionally balanced and may really it's it's this very healing energy so they heal your twin okay whether whether it's you know that may hurt I understand that but your twin we do we do meet people who heal us and who have the ability to heal okay so um this is really positive, even if, you know, and maybe you guys can't be together for some other reason, you know, like maybe you're married, Gemini, or whatever, you know, keep that in mind that it's very possible that, you know, we would, we would want happy things for our twin. I know a lot of us wish, you know, that they would get their karma. Of course, we all do. We kind of wish that for anybody, not just our twins, but, you know, because of something they said or something they did or whatever. But in general, I think it's healthy if we can look at, at the situation as if our twin is being healed by someone else, even if it's not us, that it also heals us as well. So we benefit in that way. And it is still painful. Don't get me wrong. Like somebody else and your twin be, still being in love with someone else is painful. So if that's the case, I understand. And I'm, I'm sorry that that hurts. That it's got to hurt, you know, that's or that's got to sting, you know, somewhere. Um, you know, when we love them so much too, you know what I mean? Or you love them so much too. So there's definitely that energy I'm feeling here, but this person has it together. Okay. They have it together. They are coming back with something solid to offer is what I'm feeling like. And something very, very, it's necessary because if you were to go forward, Gemini with your twin and you're not this past love, let's say you're not this past love. Okay. For those of you that resonates with. That person can't go forward with you until they until they wrap up this karma with this soulmate. Okay, it's just not possible. Okay, so you would be getting someone who is still in love with someone else. Why would you want that? You wouldn't want that. Okay. All right, seven of swords reversed. Why is the seven of swords reversed? At least I don't think you'd want that. You know, I can't say I'm not you, obviously, but you know, why is the seven of swords reversed? All right, so we have the Four of Swords reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. Uh, yeah, making a decision about this path, again, with that Two of Wands, not sure what decision to make, maybe needing to take a time out to figure out what to do. Maybe reassessing the things that have happened in the past and figuring out how, they, they may be keeping this from me right now just because they don't know how, they don't know how to, they don't know what to do. They don't know what path to choose, okay? And it's not necessarily deception, um, I mean, it could be deception. I guess I see that, you know, for those of us that, that feel like when people don't say things, it's still the same. Um, but for some of them, they don't want to hurt you. And they obviously still have choices to make with that two of wands reversed. Okay. And they're still trying to figure out what path to take. Okay. And they're trying to figure, they're trying to see who's, what, who's, what is guiding them where. So they're trying to see the signs. They're trying to figure out what those are. Okay. And they may really need to take a time out to figure that out and take some rest here with that four of swords to, in order to see what's happening. They may need to, okay. I feel like for some of you, this is another message that's coming through is that if this soulmate in the past was deceptive, um, you may be not sure whether this new love is going to be deceptive as well. And because you've been hurt in the past and that's happened to you in the past, you're not quite sure what to do. You're like, okay, do I pick the guy who has hurt me really badly? Or do I go for the guy that is, you know, is brand new and hasn't done me any damage to me. Okay. And for others of you, another 
another one, another message as well is coming through that uh, you are trying to discern whether this person from your past could be the Sagittarius right here, whether they're still up to their sneaky ways, whether they're still the same person if they've really changed, okay? For some of you, they changed. They really have. So take that if it resonates. I feel like they have. And I feel like this is a relief to you. Like this is this is beautiful. This is finally something you've been wishing for or waiting for possibly. Okay. And I know this this is a tough reading, guys. I know. I'm aware. I, I can't say that, you know, for those of you that are watching, that it's not it's not gonna be ridiculously hard. So I'm sorry. Um, and I'm here and just know that my heart is with you. So what however this resonates or doesn't resonate, you know, again, take your pieces, okay, guys. All right, let's see what your fortune is. You have mountain. Very nice. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So there's some challenges here. I do feel like there's some challenges here. Alchemy is talking about there's challenges that breaking up that obstacle, trying to figure out a way around it, through it, you know, however you need to do. Um, there's definitely some, some more than one person involved on this side that your twin is is struggling with or maybe struggling with depending on how it resonates um but you're they're protected and you're protected on this journey this is both your energy here so just know that there are some challenges right now and um i know you're trying to work through it so both of you look like you're really trying to work through this okay all right wow thank you so much for letting me do your reading here guys uh i enjoyed it so so much uh thank you so much and i will see you for your june readings take care